Hi. Hi. Yes, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, welcome to Nidip. The pronunciation reduced to, okay? Okay. Yes. Now, let's learn the pronunciation for rule for this lesson, okay? Okay. Yes. And please check your chat box because I will type some notes there. Hmm. Okay. Here, the reduced to. In spoken English, the pronunciation of to is often reduced as to. To, to. Okay. Like that, okay? Hmm. Yes. Everything clear so far? Yes. Yes, very good. Now let's have the listen, then say it. Please repeat after me, okay? Okay. Yes. I like to watch TV. I like to watch TV. She hates to drive downtown. She hates to drive downtown. Very good. How did you learn to draw? How did you learn to draw? I started to skate last year. I started to skate last year. Very good. Now this time, you read the sentences first. They Let's have say it, then lesson, okay? Okay. Yeah, so please start. We decided to move. We decided to move. He can't stand to wear a tie. He can't stand to wear a tie. They've already begun to eat. They've already begun to eat. I continue to worry about my health. I continue to worry about my health. Very good. Okay. Now this time, let's move on to the side-by-side -side journal. Okay. Okay. Please answer my question and I will type the answers in a chat box, okay? Okay. Yes. Tell about your um, an important decision you had to to making using and completing the given statement in the book. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Like um, here in the side-by-side -side journal, like I had to make an important decision recently. You just have to complete the sentence, okay? Hmm. Oh, tell me about... Okay, just a moment. Please check your chat box. I had to make an important decision recently. Can you give me an example answer? Okay, just a moment, okay? Yes, just like for example here. Um, I had to make an important decision recently, right? Hmm. Okay, just like for example, um, I like to watch TV. Hmm. And I had, after, I had, I, 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 I like this. I watch TV and after the... I watch TV and after I had to decide what to do. First, I considered the things that I need to do. Then, I thought about it. After that, or finally, I decided to. Or after that, after that, or finally, I decided to like take an English class because it is really important to learn English like that. Uh, I'm sorry, I I can't do that. It's too difficult for me. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, I I want to pass. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. This activity. Ah, yeah, <laughs> it's okay. I think yeah, it's very. Later on, I will put it here in the chat box after our class, okay? Thank you. For your, yes, for your, your guide. Thank you. Yes, and this one, let's skip this one, okay? Okay. Yes, it's okay. Now this time, let's uh, have the grammar focus, okay? Okay. Yes. Let's review the verb plus an infinitive too. Now let's read the words inside the first blue box and now please read after me okay okay yes decide to decide to learn to learn to wow very good okay now let's have it here the grammar rule for this blue box okay okay 
Yes, and please check your chat box. Hmm. Okay. Here in the rule number one, some verbs followed only by infinitives, just like, for example, two. That's an example of an infinitives. So another example here is decide or learn. Okay? okay, these are the verbs. Okay. Yes. Very good. Now let's move on to the review of verb plus a gerund. Okay? Okay. Yes. Now it, uh, let's read the second loop box and please repeat after me. Hmm. Avoid in. Avoid ink. Okay. Considering. Considering. Enjoy ink. Enjoy ink. Keep on ink. Keep on ink. Practice ink. Practice ink. Quit ink. Quit ink. Stop ink. Stop ink. Think about ink. Think about ink. Okay, that's right. Now, let's check the grammar rule for this um, blue box, okay? Okay. Yes. Just a moment. Hmm. Okay, the grammar rules for this blue box is some verbs followed only by a gerund. Gerund's example are avoid, consider, enjoy, keep on, practice, quit, Stop and think about. These are the gerunds. Okay? okay. Yes, very good. Okay, now let's have the third blue box. The review verb plus infinitive or a gerund. Okay? Okay. Yeah, and let's read the third blue box. Hmm. Yes. Begin to or beginning? Begin to or ink? Very good. Begin, um, can't stand to or can't stand in. Can't stand to or can't stand in. Very good. Continue to, continue in. Continue to, continue in. Hate to, hate in. Hate to, hate in. Like to, like in. Like to, like in. Or start to, start in. Start to start ink. Very good. Now let's learn the grammar rules for this. Okay, here. Okay. Yes, the grammar rules for these um some verbs follows the both infinitives and a gerund. Just like for example, begin example begin to it's a verb plus an infinitive, right? Yes. And beginning. Hmm. Or beginning. Like this one. Also a gerund ing, right? Yes. Mm, very good. Okay. So do you have any questions so far? Not so far. Okay, now let's review the gerund as a subject, okay? Okay. Yes. Watching TV is my favorite way to relax. Watching TV is my favorite way to relax. Very good. Now let's check the grammar rules for this box. And check your chat box. Okay, in a rule number one here, gerunds can be used as a subject of the sentence. Just like, for example, watching or walking is good for your health. The gerunds there is the word walking. Okay. Okay, it serves as a subject of the sentence, right? Yes. Yes, very good. Now let's have the last blue box, the gerund as an object. Okay, so now let's read the words inside the last blue box and please repeat after me. I'm thinking about getting married. I'm thinking about getting married. Very good. Now let's check the grammar rule for this. 
Okay, in a rule here, the gerunds can be used as the subject of the sentence again. Just like, for example, I enjoy drawing. The drawing there is the gerund as a subject in a sentence, right? Yes. Very good. Okay, so do you have any questions so far? Not so far. Okay. Now, this, let, let's have an activity, okay? Okay. Yes. Now, choose the correct word to complete the sentence. Okay. Let's have number one. I enjoy listening to music. Very good. Let's have number two. My daughter practice, practices skating every weekend. Okay, number three. We've decided to move to Florida. Number four. I usually avoid talking about politics. Five. I li really want to quit biting my nails. Very good. Six. You can't keep on worrying all the time. Seven. Where did you learn to draw so well? Very good. Eight. I know I have to stop eating junk food. Wow, very good, Ken. Your answers are all correct, okay? Okay. Yeah, so these are your answers. Okay. So now do you have any questions so far? None so far. None so far. Okay, now we're done with our lesson and after our lesson there will be a review, okay? Uh, yes. Can, so can I can I proceed next yeah, page? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's proceed to the next textbook if you want. Yes. Thank yes. you. Okay, just a moment. Okay, now let's start the lesson. You chose side by side three, chapter eight to one. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Now please look at page number 95. Okay. Chapter eight, the title is Past Perfect Tense and Past Perfect Continuous Tense. Okay. Now let's read the words in the purple box and please repeat after me, okay? Okay. Yes. Discussing things. Discussing the things. People have uh, discussing things people had done. Discussing the things people had done. Discussing preparation for events. Discussing preparation preparations for events. Describing consequences of being late. Describing consequences of being late. Discussing feelings. Discussing feelings. Describing accomplishments. Describing accomplishment. Yes, very good, Ken. Now let's have the vocabulary words and please repeat after me, okay? Okay. Yes, discuss. Discuss. Fly a kite. Fly a kite. Go canyoning. Go canyoning. Go window shopping. Go window shopping. Pack. Pack. Pur purchase. Purchase. Realize. Realize. Shine. Shine. Water. Water. Wrestle. Wrestle. Forget. Forget. Remember. Remember. Memorize. Memorize. Rehearse. Rehearse. Perform. Perform. Very good. Now let's have it here. The, um, let's move on to the topic talk, okay? Okay. Yes. The um, page number 96, the title is, They Didn't Want To. Hmm. Now this time, let's read the words in a blue box and please repeat after me, okay? Okay. Yes. I had eaten. I had eaten. He had eaten. He had eaten. She had eaten. She had eaten. It had eaten. It had eaten. We had eaten. We had eaten. You had eaten. You had eaten. Um, they had eaten. They had eaten. 
Very good, Ken. Now this time, let's move on to the grammar rules for this lesson, okay? Okay. Yes. And please check your chat box because I will type some notes. Okay. Okay, let's have it here, rule number one. In the rule number one, it says here that the past perfect tense is formed with had plus the past participle of the verb. Just like, for example. Okay, here. I had eaten. Had plus the word eaten, which means the past participle of eat, right? Yes. Yes. They had driven. Had plus a past, past participle of drive. He had gone, which means had plus a past participle of go. Mm. Okay? okay. Mm. Yes. Let's have number two rules. In the rule number two, it states here that the past perfect is used to refer actions and events that occurred before a particular point in the past. Just like, for example, they had seen the movie the weekend before. So it happened before they, um, they all, the time occurred, right? Yes. Okay. Another example, she had made eggs the morning before. That's a past perfect Tense, okay? Okay. Yeah, so is everything clear with this grammar rule? Yes. Yes, okay. Now this time, let's read the model conversation. I will be A and you will be B. Okay. Yes. Why didn't Mr. and Mrs. Henderson see a movie last weekend? They didn't want to. They had seen the movie the weekend before. Very good. Now let's switch the role. Why didn't Mr. and Mrs. Henderson see a movie last weekend? They didn't want to. They had seen a movie the weekend before. Very good. Now this time, let's have some activity, okay? Okay. Yes. Let's have number one. Why didn't your parents eat out yesterday evening? They didn't want to. They had eaten out the weekend before. Or the evening before. Ah, uh, ah okay. The evening before. Very good. Why didn't Barry go canoeing last Saturday? He didn't want to. He had gone canoeing. 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 The weekend. The Saturday. The Saturday before. Very good. Number three. Why didn't Martha make eggs for breakfast yesterday morning? She didn't want to. She had made eggs for breakfast the morning before. Very good. Why didn't you have pizza for dinner last night? He didn't want to. Mm -hmm. He had... I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I had I had 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 pizza, pizza the, for dinner for dinner the night before very good okay number 5 why didn't you and your friends drive to the beach last night we didn't want to. We had driven to the beach the Sunday before. Very good. Number six. 
Why didn't Paul wear his polka dot shirt for work yesterday? Uh, to work yesterday. He didn't want to. He he had worn his polka dot shirt the day before. Yes, it is very good. Why didn't Susan take a psychology course last semester? She didn't want to. She had taken a psychology course the semester before. Uh, very good. Number eight. Why didn't your neighbors give a party last month? They didn't want to. They had given a party the month before. Very good. Number nine. Why didn't Mozart write an opera last night? He didn't want to. He had written up an opera, opera, the opera. week, opera, the week before. Very good. That's off number ten. Why didn't you go window shopping last Saturday afternoon? I didn't want to. I had gone window shopping the Saturday afternoon before. Very good. Why didn't Monica fly her kite yesterday? She didn't want to. She had flown flow her Hello. kite the day before. Very good. Why didn't you, you and your family discuss politics at the dinner table yesterday evening? We didn't want to. We had discussed politics the evening before. Very good. Why didn't you and your family? Hmm? Uh, let's have another. Why didn't um, George do card tricks for his friends last weekend? He didn't want to. He had done card tickets for his friends the weekend before. Very good. Now this time, let's switch the role, okay? And please ask me. Okay. Why didn't your parents eat out yesterday evening? They didn't want to. They had eaten out the evening before. Why didn't Barry go canoeing last Saturday? He didn't want to. He had gone canoeing the Saturday before. Why didn't Martha make eggs for breakfast yesterday morning? She didn't want to. She had made eggs for breakfast the morning before. Why didn't you and your friends drive to the beach last Sunday? Pizza? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, why didn't you have pizza for dinner last night? I didn't want to. I had pizza for dinner the night before. Why didn't you and your friends drive to the beach last Sunday? We didn't want to. We had driven to the beach the Sunday before. Why didn't Paul wear his polka dot shirt to work yesterday? He didn't want to. He had worn his polka dot shirt to work the day before. Why didn't Susan take a psychology course last semester? She didn't want to. She had taken a psychology course the semester before. Oh, I'm sorry, Cam. We don't have enough time. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much for having my class and continue learning English, okay? Mm, thank you yeah, so much. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Take care always. Bye bye. bye. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay, he's actually So you chose for the lesson page ninety-eight. Yes. Okay, so shall we start? Okay. Okay, so let's have page 98. Reading. So before we read the story, please check the chat box for some vocabulary words and repeat after me once, please. Okay. Important. Important. Invitation. Invitation. Cookbook. Cookbook. Recipe. Recipe. Imported. Imported. Doorbell. Doorbell. Polish. Polish. Vacation. Vacation. Suitcase. Suitcase. Purchase. Purchase. Shovel. 
Shovel. Driveway. Driveway. Plane tickets. Plane tickets. Heartbroken. Heartbroken. Furious. Furious. School play. School play. Memorize. Memorize. Costume. Costume. Stay up all night. Stay up all night. Embarrass. Embarrass. Okay, so also uh, just a bit of uh, an information. So for number four, recipe, sometimes some other people say recipe. Okay. So it's up to you what you want to use. Okay, so let's proceed to the reading. So let's read the title together. Please repeat after me again. The most important thing. The most important thing. Okay, please read the first paragraph. Okay. Roger thought he was all prepared for his dinner party last night. He had sent invitations to his boss and all the people at the office. He had looked through several cookbooks and had found some very interesting recipes. He had even gone all the way downtown to buy import imported fruit vegetables and cheese which he needed for his dinner however as soon as roger's doorbell rang and his guests arrived he realized that he had forgotten to turn on the oven roger felt very foolish he couldn't believe what he had done he thought he was all prepared for his dinner party, but he had forgotten to do the most important thing. Okay, so yeah, what was the, what had uh, Roger done to prepare for his dinner? Hmm. What did he do to prepare for his dinner? He had even gone all the way downtown to buy imported fruits, vegetables, and cheese. Okay, that's right. So yeah, partly that's part. Uh, yeah, that's one of the answer. So indeed, one of his preparations was he went downtown to buy the necessary ingredients. Yeah, and also at first he invited his colleagues his boss and then next he look up some cookbooks to prepare to know how to cook the food and then after that that's the time that he went downtown okay next so why did roger feel foolish hmm. because he had forgotten to turn on the oven yes he had forgotten to turn on the oven that's right which was the most important thing and also because he thought that all was prepared that everything was ready mm. yet he had forgotten the most important thing turning on the oven so that's why he felt foolish okay thank you uh, now please read the second paragraph so if you are ready please start mr. and mrs. Jenkins thought they were all prepared for their vacation. They had packed their suitcase several days ahead of time. They had gone to the bank and purchased traveler's checks. They had even asked their next door neighbor to water their plants, feed their dog and shovel their driveway if it snowed. However, as soon as Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins arrived at the airport, they realized that they had forgotten to bring their plane ticket with them. And there wasn't enough time to go back home and get them. Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins were heartbroken. They couldn't believe what they had done. They thought they were all prepared for their vacation, but they had forgotten to do the most important thing. Yes, and what had Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins forgotten to do? Mm. 
They had forgotten to bring their plane tickets. Okay, indeed. They had forgotten the most important thing, which is to bring their plane tickets. Okay, and why were they heartbroken? Hmm, because uh, they, they, even though they prepared all things about travel, their travel, mm -hmm. but they will not be able to go traveling. Okay, so even though they prepared everything about their travel, mm. they cannot travel. Yeah. Okay. So here, your answer, in the thought of your answer is good. The correct it's correct that i think the only mistake here is the preposition so here uh you can say because though they prepared everything about so instead of saying about uh you can say for their travel hmm. okay because though because comma though they prepared everything for their travel or travel or for their trip because travel is usually, uh, it's usually used as a verb, hmm. while trip is a noun. Hmm. Okay, so instead of saying travel here, we could also say trip. Hmm. So because though they prepared everything about or for their trip, they cannot travel. So this time, this is the travel that you need. Why? Because travel is the way towards their trip, right? Yes. Okay. So here. Because though they prepared everything about or for their trip, they cannot travel. Okay. Okay. But so far, yeah, that's great. That's good. Next, um, please read the last paragraph. Ah, no. The third paragraph. Harold? Thought he was all prepared for his job interview yesterday. He had gone to his barber and gotten a very short haircut. He had bought a new shirt, put on his best tie, and shined his mm -hmm. shine shined his shoes. He had even borrowed his brother's new suit. However, as soon as Harold began the job interview, he realized that he had forgotten to bring along his resume. Harold was furious with himself. He thought he was all prepared for his job interview, but he had forgotten to do the most important thing. Okay, so how about Harold? What had he done to prepare for his interview? He had gone to his barber and gotten a very short haircut. He had bought a new shirt, put on his best tie, and shined his shoes. He had even borrowed his brother's new suit. Okay, perfect. And why was he furious to himself? Hmm. Because he had forgotten to bring along his resume. Okay, because he had forgotten to bring along his resume. Good. So let's move on to the next page and please read the last paragraph. Okay. Janet thought she was all prepared for the school play. She had memorized the script several weeks in advance. She had practiced her songs and dances until she knew them perfectly. She had even stayed up all night the night before and rehearsed, rehearsed the play by herself from beginning to end. However, as soon as the setting went up and the play began, 
Janet realized that she had forgotten to put on her costume. Janet was really embarrassed. She couldn't believe what she had done. She thought she was all prepared for the play, but she had forgotten to do the most important thing. Yes, which is quite, yeah, that's quite sad. Anyway, uh, let me ask you again, what had Janet done to prepare for the play? She had practiced her songs and dances. She had even stayed up all night the night before and rehearsed the play by herself from beginning to end. Okay, that's right. So she practiced and memorized his script, her script, rehearsed her play, stayed up the night before. Yeah. Okay. Next, and what was the thing that she had forgotten to do? She had forgotten to put on her costume. Mm -hmm, that's right. Which is quite, yeah, it's, it's, this is quite unreal anyway. So let's move on. Do you have any questions first? None so far. None so far. Great. So let's have page 99. Activity reading checkup. Okay. So here are some statements based on the story. So I will read the statement. So please identify if these statements are true or false. Okay? Okay. So I will start. Please listen carefully. First, Roger had remembered to buy the ingredients he needed. Uh, could you repeat that again? Okay. Roger had remembered to buy the ingredients he needed. It's true. True. That's right. Well done. And those are the vegetables, the cheese, and what uh, everything else. Anyway, next. Roger hadn't remembered how to cook the food. It's false. Okay, again. Roger hadn't remembered to cook the food. Ah. Uh, true. True. Why is it true? Uh, because he had forgotten to turn on the oven. That's right. He had forgotten to turn on the oven, which is the way to cook the food. Great. Next. Roger's guests couldn't believe what he had done. True, false, or maybe? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Because it doesn't say in the story, right? Hmm. In yes. the paragraph, uh, it didn't indicate what the guests feel about Rogers. Yeah. Next, Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins had forgotten to buy their plane tickets. It's true. Again, again. Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins had forgotten to buy huh. their plane tickets. It's false. False, because they have forgotten to... Bring. Bring, that's right. They have bought, but they didn't brought it. Okay, next, please listen. When Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins realized what had happened, they felt very sad and upset. Ah, uh, it's true. Yes, they were so heartbroken. So when you are heartbroken... That's because you are sad and upset. Okay, next, please. Harold thinks it's important to bring a resume to a job interview. Uh, could you repeat that again? Okay. Harold thinks it's important to bring a resume to a job interview. It's true. It's true because it's the most important thing, right? Yes. Okay. Have you ever done that before? Mm, yes, I have. Oh, that's quite sad. Anyway, next. Harold doesn't have a suit. Um, Harold doesn't have a suit. Uh, 
he he didn't have assets, but he he had bought a new he set. He didn't have a suit. Mm. Uh, it, so is it true, false, or maybe? Uh, he bought a new suit. It's it's false. Mm -hmm. Even though he he didn't he had he didn't have suits, but he bought a new suit. Okay, let's see. He had Gantis Barber. He bought a new shirt. Bought a new tie. He even borrowed. Ah. So it didn't say. Ah, I mixed up. Uh, it's two. No, it's just maybe. A uh, maybe. Uh -huh. Yes, because it doesn't say if he has a suit or not. It only said he borrowed, right? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's quite confusing, but yeah. Anyway, number eight, Janet hadn't seen the script until the night before the play. It's false. It's false. Because she even memorized it weeks advance. Hmm. Okay, last one. Before the play began, Janet hadn't realized that she had forgotten to put on her costume. It's true. Okay, that's right. Indeed, it's true. Okay, so next activity we have is which is correct. Okay, so please read the state sentences and then choose the correct option from the parentheses. Okay? Okay. So if you are ready, please start. Uh, before Barbara went, on her vacation, she went to the bank and bought tickets. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here, before Barbara went on her vacation, she went to the bank and bought... So what do you usually buy at a bank? Tickets, you buy it at a... At the... Airlines, right? Or online. Oh, oh, oh. But when you go to a bank, what do you buy at the bank? Checks. Checks. Because, especially when you go, let's say, for example, if you go to another country, so usually the currency that you own is not the same as, your, as the other country, right? Hmm. So that's why you buy traveling check so that when you go to that country, you can give it to the bank and then they will yeah they will change it for you okay okay next please read the second one peter wanted his boss to come over for dinner but he forgot to send him an invitation yeah <laughs> this is quite this is quite uh ah this is silly <laughs> a resume okay next please Sheila, uh, her roommate's laptop for a few days. Borrowed. Borrowed. Okay, that's right. Although if I am to say, it's uh, you can really you can still use bought here, especially there. There's no context for the sentence. Hmm. So yeah, let's say for example, if if her roommate really needed money. Hmm. And then she's, her roommate will say, Hey, can I will sell you this laptop of mine. Can you buy this? Oh, oh sure, I will buy this, right? Mm -hmm. okay, next, please. Our grandchildren were... Heartbroken. Heartbroken. Next, at the supermarket next to the United Nations, important people buy Im imported food. Yes, that's right. Because we can say imported, uh, we can say important food or important imported food, but we can say imported people. Mm. Yes. 
usually when we say imported people is usually deported or yeah but well done that was great perfect let's proceed to how about you so yeah have it ever happened to you that you prepared for something and then in the end you realize that you forgot something okay had it ever happened to you Mm. Okay. When, what were when you I, preparing for? Mm -hmm. When I when I arrived at my office, mm -hmm. I forgot my uniform. Ah. So you were like Janet in our story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when she came to the place, she forgot her costume. Yes. Okay. And what have you done to were you able to uh, re, uh how do I say this? To save yourself from the consequences? Mm, I Maybe I I borrowed someone's uniform. Ah, you wow, good. Mm. And you were you, uh, they lent you their yeah. uniform. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. So anyway, uh, our lesson here is done, I think. Or do you have any more examples for that? Something that you had prepared for, and then you forgot the most important thing. No more example. Okay. So let's have a short review. Okay. So please repeat after me. Uh, cookbook. 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 Okay, again, cookbook. Cookbook. Okay. Next. Furious. 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 Okay, last time, please. Furious. Furious. Okay, and the last word, rehearsed. Rehearsed. Mm hmm Rehearsed. Rehearsed. Okay. So the last time, please. Rehearsed. Rehearsed. Okay. So earlier, I noticed that when you read this word, rehearsed, so it's like you stopped and then you waited for me to say the word. Or maybe uh, it was just on my... But let me ask you, uh, do you know this word or are you familiar with this word? Rehearsed. Uh, yes. Are you familiar with this word? I'm not familiar. Okay. So rehearse is just an exa is the other term for practice. Practice, but it is usually used in terms of acting, drama, or something that's be that is considered as a long. So usually when you practice, it's just for a short time, right? Well, yeah. rehearse is like doing a practice for a very long time. Mm. Okay. And doing it again and again. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, do you have any question? Not so far. Not so far. Okay, so thank you for coming to my class again. It's great to always have a student who's really well-rounded, who can answer the questions, can read. Uh, yeah, even though the, uh, in the way you read, your pronunciation is good. Hmm. Uh, you're consistent, meaning you did not, you did, you did not make make any mistakes. So maybe just try and work on trying to read it longer because sometimes there are instances where you read like read it word by word so it's clear that you have a pause then a pause then a pause so maybe in that aspect uh, try to improve it okay okay because you speak well and is consistent so great job thank you again thank you so much bye bye, bye. Okay, that's good to hear. So your lesson is side by side, book three, page one hundred. Is this correct? Yes. Okay, they didn't get there on time. Let's have a short um, role play before we start the, the the activity. I will be person A, your person B. Got it? Okay. Okay. Did you get to the concert on time? No, I didn't. By the time I got to the concert, it had already begun. Okay, good job. So, do you have any questions? None so far. Okay, let's have number one. You will use the same um, structure, just replace the words. Got it? Okay. Okay. 
Number one, did you get to the post office on time? No, I didn't. By the time I got to the post office, it had already closed. Okay, good job. Number two, did you get to the plane on time? No, I didn't. By the time I got to the plane, it had already taken off. Good job. Number three, did you get to the movie on time? No, I didn't. By the time I got to the movie, it had already started. Good. Number four. Uh, did you get to the train on time? No, I didn't. By the time I got to the train, it had already left. Okay, good. Number five. Did you get to the lecture on time? No, I didn't. By the time I got to the lecture, it had already end, ended. Ended. Number six, did you get to the meeting on time? No, I didn't. By the time I got to the meeting, it had already finished. Good. Number seven, did you get to the library on time? No, I didn't. By the time I got to the library, it had already closed. Okay, number eight, did you get to the boat on time? No, I didn't. By the time I got to the boat, it had already sailed away. Sailed away. Good job. Number nine, did you get to the parade on time? No, I didn't. By the time I got to the parade, it had already gone by. Okay. Okay. So we're done with page 100. Let's go to page 101. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions for the um, the activity that we did? Do you have any questions about it? Not so far. Okay, good. Let's have 101. He hadn't gone fishing in a long time. Now let's have the blue box first before we start. I hadn't eaten. I hadn't eaten. Okay, keep keep going. Keep reading. He hadn't eaten. She hadn't eaten. It hadn't eaten. We hadn't eaten. You hadn't eaten. They hadn't eaten. Okay, good. So here is the grammar point for this or the grammar rule, I'm sorry, the grammar rule for this page. I'm going to put it in the chat box. Just please go ahead and read it. Okay. To form the negative. To form the negative of the past perfect tense, not is added. The word not contracts with the auxiliary. The auxiliary. With the auxiliary. With the auxiliary. Had. Had. Examples. I had not gone. I hadn't gone. You had not gone, you hadn't gone. She had not gone, she hadn't gone. He had not gone, he hadn't gone. We had not gone, we hadn't gone. They had not gone, they hadn't gone. Okay, good. So what tense is this? What verb tense is this? Hmm? It's the what tense? Is it past tense? Is it present tense? What tense? It's the Past. Past participle. Mm, past. Uh, past the perfect tense. Okay, past perfect. Good. All right, so this is the negative form of the past perfect tense. We're going to use ha uh, not together with the auxiliary had. Okay? Mm, okay. All right, let's have a short role play before we start the activity. I'll still be A or B. Got it? Okay. Okay, I'll start. Did grandma did, uh, did grandpa enjoy going fishing last weekend? Yes, he did. He hadn't gone fishing in a long time. Okay, so we're still going to use the past participle for the verb, uh, uh, the verb, but we're gonna add hadn't before it. Got it? Yes. Okay, let's have number one. Did Natalie enjoy swimming in the ocean last weekend? Yes, she did. She hadn't gone swimming in a long time okay good number two did you uh did you enjoy seeing a movie yesterday more evening yes i did i had not gone seeing mm, i had i hadn't i hadn't i hadn't seen seen okay ah i hadn't seen a movie in a long time 
Okay, by, by the way, what was your answer for number one again? Yes, yeah, she did. Yes, she did. She hadn't. She hadn't swimming. It's, she hadn't enjoyed swimming. Ah, she hadn't enjoyed swimming in the, in ocean, the ocean in a long time. A long time. Okay, number two. Uh, yes, I did. I hadn't enjoyed seeing uh -huh. a movie in a long time. Okay, number three. Did Mr. and Mrs. Ramirez enjoy ta uh, taking a walk along the beach yesterday? Yes, they did. They hadn't enjoyed taking a walk along the beach in a long time. Good. Number four. Did you and your friends enjoy eating at Burger Queen last... Ah, yesterday. Sorry, yesterday. Yes, we did. We hadn't enjoyed eating a Burger Queen in a long time. Okay, hold on. Yeah. So I think we don't need to use enjoy. Hmm. Okay, so we can just uh, remove the enjoy. We can just use the uh, past participle of, for example, um, seeing. We can use seen. Okay? Okay. But you can, it's fine too if you use enjoyed seeing a movie. That's fine. But uh, to make it shorter, uh, I think it's better if we just use seen. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's try again. Number one. Let's uh, try to remove the enjoy. Let's use swim as the base verb. Okay. Okay, let's try. Uh, yes, she did. She, she hadn't swam in the ocean in a long time. Okay. She hadn't swam, uh, swam in the ocean in a long time. Or you can also say she hadn't gone swimming. That's fine too. Okay, okay so there are uh, possible answers. Gone swimming or swam. Mm, okay. okay? Mm. All right, next, number two. Uh, no, she didn't. Uh, yes, she did. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I hadn't seen a movie in a long time. Okay, number three. Uh, yes, yes, we did. We, we... Uh, we? Are you sure number three, we? Uh, Mr. and Mr. Ramirez. Yes, they. yes, they did. They hadn't taken taken a walk along the beach in a long time. Number four. Yes, we did. We we hadn't eaten at Burger Queen in a long time. We hadn't eaten at Burger Queen in a long time. Number five. Did Henry enjoy singing with the choir last Jan uh, last Sunday? Yes, yes, he did. Mm -hmm. He hadn't sung with the choir, choir, choir in a long time. Okay, number six. I, yes, I did. I hadn't had strawberry shortcake. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry shortcake in a long time for dessert. Ah, for dessert in a long time. Okay, number seven. Did Jim and Tess enjoy riding on a roller coaster this afternoon? Yes, they did. They hadn't ridden on ridden. a roller coaster. Coaster? A coaster mm -hmm. in a long time. Number eight. Did Kevin enjoy playing hide and seek with his children last night? Yes, they did. Ah? Yes, again? Keep, uh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. He hadn't played hide and seek with his children in a long time. Good number nine. Did Mr. Uh, Mrs. Kramer enjoy reading her old love letters last weekend? Yes, she did. She hadn't read her old love letters in a long mm -hmm. time. Okay, good. So we're done with that page. Let's go to page 102. Do you have any questions, by the way? Not so far. Okay. Let me know if you're ready. Okay, I'm done. Okay, ready? Yes. 
Let's start. This is reading, so go ahead. Days gone by. Before we start, sorry. Before we start, here are eight words that we're going. You're going to encounter in this um, in this story. So let's read it first. Repeat after me. Days gone by. Days gone by. Days gone by. Days gone by. Baseball. 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 Movie theater. Movie theater. Movie theater. Movie theater. Balcony. 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 Outskirts. 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 Childhood. Childhood. Child not hood. Hood. Childhood. Childhood. Hood. But just relax. Hood. Hood. Childhood. Childhood. Good. Uh, nostal nostalgic. 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 Memories. Memories. Okay. You can also say, uh, you can also remove the O. You can just say memories. Memories. Just like this. Memories. 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 Yeah. Memories. Okay. Do you understand all the words there from one to eight? Do you know what's outskirts? Uh, yes. Okay. Outskirts. Uh, it's the outer part of the city. Okay. Or, you know, like the countryside or something. Okay. Let's have days gone by reading. Go ahead. Read from Michael until the end. Go. Okay. Michael took a very special trip last month. He went back to... Fullerton. Fullerton, his hometown. Michael's visit to Fullerton was very special to him. He was born there. He grew up there, but he hadn't been back there since he finished high school. He went to place, places he hadn't gone to in years. He walked through the park in the center of town and remembered the days he had walked through the same park with his first girlfriend. He passed by their empty field where he and his friends had played baseball every day after school. And he stood for a while in front of the movie theater and thought about all the... Thought? Thought? Ah, not thought. 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 Okay. Okay, don't say oh, just say ah. Oh. Thought. That's it. Thought about all the Saturday afternoons he had spent there sitting in the balcony, watching his favorite movie, Heroes, and eating popcorn. Okay. He did things he hadn't done in a long time. He had some homemade ice cream at the ice cream shop. He rode on the merry-go-round in the park and he went fishing at the lake on the outskirts of town. For a on while, the outskirts? On the outskirts of town. For a while, he felt like a kid again. He hadn't had homemade ice cream, ridden on the merry-go-round, or gone fishing since he was a young boy. He also saw people he had... so, saw, saw, saw people. He also saw people he hadn't seen in years. He visited several of his old neighbors who had never moved out of the neighborhood. He said hello to the owners. To the owners? To the, to the owners of the candy store near his house. And he even bumped into Mrs. Riley, Riley. his... 10th grade science teacher. During his visit to his hometown, Michael remembered places he hadn't gone to, things he hadn't done, and people he hadn't seen science his childhood. Michael's trip back to Flu Flurton mm -hmm. was a very nostalgic experience for him. Going back to flu term brought back many memories of days gone by. 
Okay, good job. Yes. Do you have any questions? No, so far. All right, so I have some questions for you. Number one, what did Michael do last month? He went to back to Flirtham, his hometown. Okay. And when did he, uh, where, sorry, where did he stand for a while? And what did he think about? Where did he stand for a while? Ah, he stood for a while in front of the movie theater. And? And thought, thought about, about all the Saturday afternoons he had spent there sitting in the balcony. Watching? Watching his favorite movie heroes and eating popcorn. Yes, correct. And number two, what did he pass by? Pass by. Uh, what? what? Where, where? where? Where did he pass by? Or sorry, what did he pass by? What? So it's in the second paragraph. A second, okay. Um, Uh, he passed by the empty field where he and his friends mm -hmm. had played baseball every day after school. Okay, good job. And where did he go fishing? Hmm. Mm -hmm. He went fishing. In, in second paragraph? Um, third. Ah, uh, third, okay. Uh, Ah. He went fishing at the lake on the outskirts of town. Yes. And who did he bump into? Fourth paragraph. He bumped into. Ah, uh, science teacher. Mm -hmm. What's her name? Uh, Mrs. Riley. Okay. Okay. And uh, why was Michael's visit to Fullerton very special to him? Why was it special to him? Mm. Last paragraph. Mm. Because going back... Going back to Fullerton brought back many memories of days gone by. Yes, that's it. Okay, so do you have any questions about this, um, this story? Not so far. Let's have page 103, reading checkup. So you will just answer if it's true, false, or maybe. Maybe if it's not in the story, okay? Okay. Number one, Michael moved back to Fullerton last month. True or false? Did true. he move back? Hmm? It's true. Move back? Ah. False. False. He didn't move back. He just what? He just visited. Mm, yeah. Number two. Please read. Number two. He hadn't seen Flirton in years. True or false? Or maybe? Maybe. It's true. Okay. He hadn't seen. Yeah, he hadn't seen. He hasn't visited yet in um, in years already. Okay, number three. When Michael, I, I will put the the answer so that you will have a reference next time. Number three. When Michael passed by the field last month, children were playing baseball. It's false. False. Number four. Please read. Michael enjoyed going to the movies when he was young. It's true. True. Number five. The ice cream shop was near Michael's home in Fullerton. It's false. Uh, it can be false. It can be true. So what is it? Uh, out of scats. It's maybe. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's not in the story. It's not mentioned where the ice cream shop is. Okay. Yeah, it's not mentioned. So, okay, number six. Yeah, number six. Please read. Michael rode on the merry-go-round when he was young boy. It's true. Yes, it's true. Good job. Number seven. 
some of Michael's old neighbors still live in the same neighborhood. Maybe. Maybe? Uh, true. It's true, yes. Do you remember when he passed by the the old old couple? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, number eight. Mrs. Riley still teaches science. Maybe. Maybe, correct. Because it doesn't say that she still teaches. Mm. It just says that yes. she was the mm. teacher. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next activity, which is correct. Please read the sentence and tell me the correct word out of the two choices. Go. I always enjoy eating Aunt Betty's homemade food. Correct. Number two. The new shopping mall is located in the outskirts of our city. Uh, outside, uh, outskirts. It's correct. Outskirts. Okay. Yeah, correct. Good. Number three. She recently visited the town where she had spent her canned food. food. Correct. Number four. I bumped into an old friend on the street the other day. Correct. Number five. They hadn't been back to their old neighborhood in several years. Good. Number six. Seeing my old college friends was a nostalgic experience for me. Yes, correct. But sometimes it can also be a nauseous, nauseous experience. <laughs> okay. Do you get what I mean? It's a nauseous experience sometimes yeah. when you meet your old college friends. Anyway, so let's move on to listening. Okay. Okay. All right. Number one, listen. One. Did your parents enjoy eating at Joe's restaurant last night? Letter B. Yes, they had yes. never eaten there. Correct. Number two, I'll just um, say it. Why don't you want to see the new James Bond movie with us next weekend? I've already seen it. Okay, let's let's do one more. Did you get to the play on time last night? No. Yes, it had letter A. Okay. We don't have enough time. Thank <laughs> you so much. Yes, thank you. Bye. Good night. ネイティブキャンプは月額で受け放題のオンライン英会話です。概要欄に公式サイトへのリンクを貼っておきます。